It would appear that our Helganquil host really has fulfilled its end of the bargain. You know what that means. Time to go to Rena. I guess this means we should give that warp drive a spin. There's nothing here. This weird ocean we're surrounded by just stretches out everywhere. Is this really where the Helganquil come from? I don't sense even a trace of astral energy. This world is... dead. Then this must be the Hollowing. You mean to tell me this whole world? The entire ocean is... that stuff? And it's covering everything. The entire planet. This is what the Great Spirit does. After it depleted this planet of every last speck of astral energy, it went after Dana. So arresting, this world of doom. Back in its day, Rena was probably just as vibrant as Dana is. But after being robbed of its astral energy for so long, those days are gone and past. This is all that will remain. So the Great Spirit took everything. It stole energy not just from living beings, but the land, the sea, everything. And it bound the Helganquil in servitude, until their whole world was nothing but this. And by the looks of it, that's how it remains to this day. A world of death and emptiness. With nothing left here to consume, the Great Spirit turned its sights on Dana, looking for another host. You're saying if we don't stop it, this is what Dana's going to look like? We can be sure that even these few remaining remnants of Ren and Life will not be spared in the end. If the oblivion and darkness both Shion and Naori saw comes to pass, Nothing will survive. It looks like we can climb down from there. Let's take a look. So this is Rena. This is where everything began, yet it's a dead world? I won't let Dana suffer the same fate, ever. A hollowed ocean as far as the eye can see. What do you think would happen if we fell in? What do you mean, what would happen? You'd drown, wouldn't you? Come to think of it, I don't believe I've heard of someone ever trying. Perhaps you'd like the glory of being the first? No, I'll pass. This is essentially a world-sized Renan graveyard. Are you proposing to disturb the dead slumber just to satisfy your curiosity, Law? No, because I said I passed! Taking an interest is understandable, but let's not forget where we are. This place deserves our respect. Looks like we're not going to be hearing the end of this one for a while. You'd think I was already snorkeling in it or something! So the idea is to seal the Great Spirit inside the Renes Alma using the Sovereign and Maiden's power. But just how do we do that exactly? I'm guessing it won't be as easy as holding a spirit channeling ceremony at our leisure. I already had wielded astral energy once three centuries ago. As for suppressing her thorns, Shion's had a lifetime's experience. 
The problem isn't just our enemy's strength. It's that it's sentient, too. And you can bet anything you like, it's not going to just sit back and let us destroy it. In other words, we need to find some way to weaken it in advance. The Great Spirit, that is. Back when Xion's thorns flew out of control, we were able to deal with them directly. If this is their host, they should be even more corporeal here. If that's the case, it should make them easier to attack at least. And if we can manage to divert enough energy away from the spirit's core, even temporarily, we might just be able to weaken it enough to steal the Renis Alma, which we can then use to seal it away forever. It won't be easy, but it's our only shot. Time to buckle up! Question for you. Let's say, knock on wood, everything turns out for the best. What'll the world be like? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I mean, at the end of this, do you really think everything will be that different? A lot will have to change, that's for sure. The world will have to adjust to so much. My only worry is if those changes turn out to be merely skin deep. What do you mean? It's well and good putting an end to Renan rule. But if it just turns the tables, it's all for naught. That's true. Just as bad if the Danans started pressing their own. Renans, Danans, Astral Art users, mages. The world is full of labels used to divide and separate people. If only we could see differences like that for what they are. No different to someone having a musical talent or being good with their hands. Not differences so much as characteristics. It will take someone in power to set an example. But with time, people will follow. And then, perhaps one day... There will no longer be any need for the example. It will have become second nature. That's where we come in. We can set the example. Imagine it. A world where magic and astral arts are used to help people. Where that's the norm rather than the exception. Yeah, you're right, Rinwell. Why wait for somebody else? We can show them ourselves. what Helganquil civilization was like at its zenith. I can imagine that'd be something you'd take an interest in. There's no question it must have been advanced, like none either world has ever seen. We could surely stand to learn a thing or two from such a people. I get that you're itching to delve into its history, but we've got bigger fish to fry right now. Put a pin in it, and you can do all the research you want when you retire. I can think of worse things than a retirement dedicated to research. As for whether Rena is amenable to an aging specimen... It's a little early to be giving it serious thought just yet. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. Oh, we didn't say there's anything wrong with dreaming. In your case, Dohalim, dreams have a habit of spiraling into something else. You'll need to stay with us for now, though. You're too helpful to let retire. Why do I feel this is less of a compliment and more of an ultimatum? Just a friendly suggestion. realize something is this about dinner last night I didn't realize those ingredients were off what no I mean wait you fed us rotten food Rinwell the point hmm uh, oh yeah right so I was thinking about those armored soldiers we've seen there are regular Renans inside them right yeah they're designed to make whoever's wearing them stronger at least I think that's the idea right so it kind of begs the question, then, why are they made so huge? I don't know, makes them more intimidating, I guess? Or maybe all that tech wizardry inside takes up a lot of space. You don't think it's weird how the armored soldiers are the exact same height as the Helganquil? 
Can't say I'd ever noticed it till now. And? Connect the dots, Law! Okay, let me get this straight. You think the armored suits might have originally been designed to allow Renans to work alongside the Helganquil? Huh. But if that's true, what would that mean? It would mean... just that, I guess. But still, don't you think it's kind of interesting? Not... hugely? Hey, Kisara, well, I've got you. What's on tonight's menu? Because I was thinking, maybe meat? Get him, Hoodle. Ah! Oh, oh, what did I do? Oh, now you want to listen. Keep pecking, Hoodle! Uh, ow, ow, ow! Seriously, what the hell? You know, guys, when you think about it, we've taken out a lot of Zoogles. Like, a whole lot. You can say that again. If one thing's for certain in this world, it's that wherever we go, we'll always end up bumping into them. Isn't it weird that they're still so plentiful? You don't think the Renans have, like, a ranch where they breed them, do you? Certainly in all of my years, I've never heard of them constructing such a massive facility on Dana, let alone up in Lenigus. The only thing I can think of, then, is that the Feral Ones must be reproducing on their own. There's also no organized effort on our part to hunt them down, so it's difficult to fully exterminate them. Exterminate them? Whoa, don't you think that's maybe a little harsh? What do you mean? Zoogles originally used to be living creatures native to Dana and Rena, right? Being genetically modified isn't their fault. You're right. Zoogles were only created because of us Renans. We altered the original creatures to suit our own ends. First people made Zoogles, and then we let them go. And now we're trying to kill them because they're a threat. They really have only seen the very worst, huh? I hope we find a way to be able to live side by side with them one day. It's a nice thought, but they attack towns and cities. What else are we supposed to do? Aside from the strays that have gone wild, it's worth remembering that Renans are able to keep them somewhat under control. If we had distinct territories that didn't overlap, that might reduce the danger they pose. Well, I guess when you look at it that way, maybe people and Zoogles aren't so different after all. Ganquil. Guess they don't need their red woman disguises anymore. Wait, can you understand us? It's no use. We're not going to get through to them. So they really are being controlled. In that case, we've got no choice. I knew there was something off here! They're not pulling punches. We have no choice but to beat them at their own game. Go Go on, my my the 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 Where are you going? The flame inside is yours to be let free. You can the wrong fight. Another incantation is ruined. Water, heal your with the in a bind, the flame inside is yours to be let free. Here's a healing arm. What could you do without me? Here I come. I can't imagine what we do without you, Renwell. Who, me? This is my... That's a little much, don't you think? I'm, I'm serious. You're a yeah, life I owe you, Theon. Healing is what my arts do best. <laughs> All mine can do is cause havoc and destruction. Swallow blade, try this! I don't even know the word defeat. Thank you for the healing, Dovine. Our comrades need our ability to survive. Right. No one is dying on our watch. Now! Take this! Leave the enemy's arts to me! Armor won't save you! No complaints here! Scream! 
for what they've done, but I hate killing them. They don't even know why they're fighting. How does that even make them any different from the Danon slaves? Perhaps. However, if we don't make a choice, the guilt of not doing anything will be that much worse. Yeah, I know. I hate for it to be like this. But if it happens again, you won't find me hesitating to act. I wonder if we're going to get attacked again. If we lose heart now, this whole mission is over. We have to stay the course. more dirt and rocks and stuff underneath the hollowed ocean, but it's all artificial. I would imagine they're remnants left behind by the Helganquil, seeing as there's little actual land remaining. It's incredible. Do you think it stretches all the way down to the center of the planet? Hey, these guys built Lenigus, remember? They probably did this in a weekend. If they had the power to create things like this, did they really only use those immense capabilities to serve the Great Spirit? Or rather, was that the only use the Great Spirit let them use their capabilities for? Just look at the size of that thing. The Helganquil's technology certainly is impressive. And they don't seem to do things by halves, either. In the past 300 years. Oh, even before that. Just how many people, Renan or Danon, do you think have ever seen this? Regarding the past three centuries, at least, I'd say there's a good chance that we're the first. Also, while I get that it's impressive and all, I'm just amazed you're still standing around gawping at it at a time like this. Sometimes I wonder about your priorities. 
I can understand where he's coming from. More to the point, does anyone know where it leads? What do you mean, where it leads? To the center of the planet, of course. And that doesn't strike you as sounding just a little bit, oh, I don't know, far? There has to be a quicker way to get there, right? Yeah. With all this technology at their fingertips, it seems pretty unlikely that they'd make that kind of journey on foot. There must be some kind of device somewhere. Let's see if we can figure out how to use it. Borrow one of their contraptions? You're either brave or out of your mind. If it works for them, there's no reason it wouldn't for us. Why make things harder for ourselves? You know what he's like, Law. Once he gets an idea in his head, there's no talking him out of it. Is this a dead end? It appears this whole room functions as an elevator. That apparatus there is likely what's used to control it. We haven't seen anyone here except Helganquil. Looks like this place really is their home planet. The true citizens of Rena. What a shame that they have become nothing more than puppets to the Great Spirit. To think of the promise their accomplishments once held. They had the potential to be great indeed. Do you think we could have got along with them? You know, if we had met under different circumstances. Like... Like all of us, you mean? I suppose it's difficult to say for sure. We don't even know if they would see us as being on an equal level with them or not. I think we may have had the chance once, before the Renan Great Spirit came along and... changed everything. You and Alfin both share an optimism. A strong willingness to believe in hope. <laughs> Do you think that's foolish? On the contrary, I should like to take a leaf from your book myself. In Tragedy's Aftermath, hope is all we have. I wonder how the Renans avoided being mind-controlled like the Helganquil. Do you think it might have something to do with the fact that they were originally Danans? I'd say it's likely. Which is pretty ironic when you think about it. Ironic? The Renans have committed grave injustices against the Danans. But it was all of their own volition, not because they were being controlled. Now, it turns out they themselves were once Danans too. Which must mean that the root of their evil isn't the Great Spirit, but something inherent in all of us. Our free will. Now hang on, though. It was that same free will that allowed Xion and Dohalim to choose to fight alongside us. Without it, we wouldn't have been able to beat hatred and forge all those connections we've made. Free will is what saved us, right? Law's entirely right. In any case, it certainly can't hurt to look on the bright side every now and then. Yeah. Where there's hope, there's a way. What'd he say? He said, without a doubt. Less worry, more action. Concentrate. You picked the wrong fight. Insects just stay on the ground. Cook up fire. I got it. Let a monster in here. Cook it up. What would I do without you? Where are you going? Destruction. I'm all set up. Stay around. I'm ready! Do it! In an instant! Impact block! We work well together. Like a finely timed wall. Water! Hear my call! Burn it down! In an instant! Impact block! More Sukkles? Keep calm and take them down! Art is being interrupted! Double demon fang! I'm ready! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Radiant? More coming! 
No further! Great uh, spear! Not Here's today! I can't imagine what we'd do without you, Renwell. Who, me? That's a little much, don't you think? I'm serious. You're a lifesaver. Now you see what I can do! Benediction. Do it! Stop me! In an instant! Impact Ball! Creatures here? You think they're native to Rena? Or could they be Zoogles somehow? What? Never they are. They're dangerous. Watch yourselves around them. You think that pit stretches all the way to Rena's core? If that's true, and if we go down, we should find the Great Spirit at the bottom. We could get there even faster if we simply jump down instead. I, I won't steal. forgive you! They Illuminate the Constantine! I'm ready! Execution! Three that buzzing is driving me mad! Yeah, uh, I'm ready! Flying free! A new what melody! Can just sit still? See him! Can you take care of them? No sooner said than done! I'm only getting radiant Here's a healing heart! Let me get down! Don't do it! Stand back! I'll trip it up! Holy land! Eat dirt! The flame right. inside me, you're gonna be let you free! Not today! Let me free! Let me Astral energy! Say no more! Got Well done! A new melody! Now or never! In a vine! Victory is within reach! Dig deep and we can do this! Professor's perfect! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Water, hear my call! Is it in the sky? Take this! Illuminate Come forth, holy glimmer! We managed to pull through.
Retreat if you know what's good for you. I shall ensure you survive this. Not today! Your reflexes will not do you well Double Double now we have No further. Lightning! Not on my watch! What? Prepare to be a seed, though. I should found this more Let's talk in more detail. Rending you a bloody with the earth! One's all mine! Heart requires complete focus! Burning! Raging Cascade! Prepare to be sealed! Burning hell! At least some demon can't get out of this! Double demon fang! Benediction light! I'll take it from here! Let's see how you handle this! Deus Roar! Radiant Pit! Benediction light! Let me go! This one's mine! Armor won't save you! Failure is not an option! No blood shall break the Holy Wither! You're mine! Holy Wither! You are so much! I owe you, Theon. Healing is what my arts do best. All mine can do is cause havoc and destruction. I've used too much. Destruction! I've been hit with something! So even a master not feel so great. Battles easier is okay by me. Ah, 
guess I misread the landing. I expect you'll be in high demand if that's the case. These structures don't look like anything. Built by the Lenins. Or even what we saw in the Forbidden Zone. Perhaps this is the true architectural style of the Helganquil. Or perhaps the opposite, given their situation. You mean like how some places favor... Gotta break through! Turn the tables on him. There are still more left. Right. No time to hold back. 
Room to grow. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Hey, Law. Been training? Yeah, I guess I got a little carried away. You think this is bad, you should see the state of my underwear. Yeah, a word of advice. You might want to refrain from mentioning that stuff around girls. Ones without a military history, especially. Man, can you imagine Rinwell's face? She'd have a nervous breakdown. I meant in general, but you sure mention her a lot, you know. Huh? Oh, I, uh, I, you know, she's always there, even when you least expect it. Springs to mind easily. Either that, or maybe some part of you is subconsciously always wishing she was there. May the trials and tribulations of young romance never change. R romance? Like I'd be interested in that know-it-all tomboy. I'm more about mature women. Someone more like Kisara. You know, I used to be a tomboy too when I was Rinwell's age. Look, it's not tomboys I have anything against. But come on, you've got to admit she can be a lot to handle. Hey, I miss anything? What's all the fuss about? Uh, Rinwell. Hmm. <laughs> Thunderblade! Ah! What the hell was that for? A little birdie told me you were speaking about me behind my back. <sighs> From the looks of it, I'd say you've got yourself a rival. It wouldn't be called the Spring of Youth without a little storm every now and then. Hey, Shion! How are you and Alfin getting on these days? That's a little out of the blue. Why do you ask? Sorry, it's just... I don't know, I'm just curious, I guess. I mean, a lot's changed now he's got his senses back and all. <sighs> I suppose you're right. Well, to tell you the truth, if he'd been the way he is now back when I'd first met him, I probably wouldn't have gotten this involved. But then, if we hadn't met like we did, then I never would have experienced these feelings, so... <sighs> I guess... it's complicated. I can imagine. I know it's not the same thing, but... I know what it feels like to have someone you love who's out of reach. Because of Miguel. Alfin's still alive. It's not too late, you know. And after all, who can say what the future holds? I think if I were you, I'd take things as they come for now. Besides, touch isn't everything. I've never touched you, Xion, but that doesn't stop you from knowing that I care about you, right? That's true. But I do remember back when we first met, you made it plenty clear you weren't my biggest fan. B but that was a long time ago. There were lots of things I didn't understand back then. Uh, not that that's the point. Don't worry, I'm only teasing. I know what you mean. Thank you. And you're right. There are ways to convey your feelings besides just touching. I'll say. 
Cooking immediately springs to mind. And if it's someone's favorite dish, all the better. If there's something on your mind that you want to tell him, why not try appealing directly to his stomach? You might just have a point. I'll give it a shot. Uh-oh. If it's Alvin's palate you're appealing to, that doesn't bode well for the rest of us. Well, well, friendship is about being supportive. Sometimes we just have to do our best and take one for the team, right? Even after staying here, we never truly got to the bottom of what makes this realm's... Renan and Danon are meaningless distinctions here. To have one's own mind... That might be the case now, but it can't always have been like that. Once, maybe. Question is, is that something still salvageable? If it's not, we'll just have to make something new. You're right. It's time the people here had the chance to forge... These things take time. What the... I... S sorry Sorry, there was a huge flying bug and I sort of shot without thinking. A bug? You mean like a zoogle? Something tells me she would have shot it, whether it was a zoogle or not. This realm is teeming with humid forests. In fact, I seem to recall reading somewhere that bugs around these parts lay their eggs in human food to ensure healthy incubation. <laughs> Sounds like they're tougher than they look. What about you, Alfin? Bugs don't creep you out? I wouldn't say I was their number one fan. Mind you, if times get desperate enough, I've been known to eat them. Insects as a culinary option, you say? What kind of seasoning are we talking? Dohalim, I don't think he was talking about cooking them. Hey, a lizard! Ah! I never thought about this until now, Alfin. But doesn't it get hot wearing that armor all the time? You feel heat and cold again, don't you? Admittedly, yeah. Is it hard when your back starts to itch? Oh, you bet. Plus my- Kisara looks like she manages all- Armor takes a strong body- Spoken like a true guardsman. The more I think about it, the more I realize what a pain- Ew! That part can be a bit of a pain. That sucks, man. Wouldn't it be- You never know when the enemy might attack. So basically, you're screwed if you ever get attacked while taking a- Are you doing this on purpose? Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. This is great. The taste and aroma will blow everyone away. You can never be too prepared. A 
But did we have to spend so much? <laughs> Finally made it. Sure, you survive this. Those thorns. I'm not letting them get in our way. And thus our strength. The 
get growth. This will be a delicious piece of cake. No further. Not today! Lunar Blossom! Lunar Blast! 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 It's so no. It can't end here! No. No. This is my fault. And later. Now I can 
let loose. Nothing gets by me. Begin. Holy Dinner! Hear my call. Infernal Is that a healing one? It is. You can't be more than pain. I'll try to be more careful. Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! This should come in handy when crafting weapons. crafting weapons.
No, you require a Lightning hand. Condemned. Take this! Take Leave the off. enemy's arm to me! No complaints here! Negative start up! On your knees! Forgive me. Touch beyond our depth. We barely got a look at the thing.
Raging Cascade! By the power of water! In here! 
can't get out of this! I can do the No thought shall break this night! Forgive me! Stay away from my friend! Try again later. 